Yeah, I just wanted to echo what um, Ms. Sheehan and Ms. Wine, or Mr. Wines and Ms. Cagliona um, have said here today that they, what's, what's interesting here is the, the conversation that Mr. Reed had earlier about um, people pirating um, games, even that they had given away for free, and the, the wide availability of these decryption keys, it kind of demonstrates that these, these locks aren't preventing pirates from pirating. They're not. Um, they're not preserving the the copyright of of these um, creative works. What they are actually doing is they are preventing law-abiding citizens who want to do law-abiding things, such as repair their devices. And so I think like that's particularly relevant when looking at this exemption request. That what we're asking for is an exemption for a limited purpose to perform a repair. We are not asking for an exemption to. Um, pirate content and the the underlying work that is being protected by this tpm it isn't the movies on the blu-rays um or the dvds or even on the video game discs it's the it's the software that the firmware that is controlling this lock itself so i think that's also particularly relevant here when we're talking about like what copyright work is actually being protected here with this um lock on the optical drive to the motherboard so there's just this over the, the, the concerns about piracy here feel more like fear mongering as opposed to actual realities of um what is at stake